Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Qatar Nine Ball Open Championships of 2023. We are down to the quarterfinals from Kuwait. Father, how are, how are you doing? today? Doing good, thank you. Uh, well done for getting this far. It must have been a long journey for you to get here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I will try my best to win uh, this tournament. And you're playing one of the greatest pool players yeah. in the world. Yeah. Well, on behalf of Cathy Billiard Federation, we say all the best to you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pops. Gentlemen, the Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. Ping Chong, how are you? Hey, and welcome good. to Qatar. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah. Are you ready? I feel very good now. Uh, I will try my best in the game. Yeah. And you've come a long way and you've become one of the greatest pool players in the yeah. world. Yeah. And we wish you all the best from Qatar Billiards Federation yeah. and enjoy the show. Okay. Thank you very much. So Thank stay you. tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be going live around the world very shortly. Enjoy the show. Gentlemen, welcome to Qatar Nine Ball Open Championships of 2023. We're down to the quarterfinals and straight after we are down to the semi-finals. Tomorrow morning will be the final. Both of these players have done amazing to get to this far. They've been on a long battle and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this battle. Um... What can I say? I, I don't know where to begin. It's been an incredible journey for everyone. John Moore is playing Carlo Bonello, and that's going to be a great game. And also, I've just been speaking to the players around the room. There's many great players left in this tournament, but we're down to the top eight. Who will pick up 50,000 US dollars? Well... We're going to have to stay in tuned because this is the quarterfinal and straight afterwards is the semi-final. I don't know who's going to be on the TV for the semi-final. We just have to wait and see. But I know one thing. We are treated to a great match. My prediction is always the same. I don't know.
so I don't know the outcome as always but the nicest thing is we are treated to a great match and I also like to say thank you to all the fans around the world who's joining us And I had some lovely words from some of the greatest pool players in the world today supporting me doing the commentary. So as you can see the wing ball is gone. It's just the one ball with the key on the break. And there it is, perfect. Is that a silver break? Let's have a look. No. And the reason why, because of the four ball. A silver break is when everything is so easy to pot. Yes, you can run the table, but the silver break will allow you to have balls over the pocket so you can't miss. Look at the alignment. The one, the two, the seven, the eight, and nine. We've seen a few of those alignments on this TV table. Such a great player. Great ambassador for the pool world. I'm very fortunate. And he speaks English very well. And his brother. And everybody's watching today, and I'm sure all his family. I can confirm to you, Stephen Lynn will be watching, and uh, I wish him all the best. He's not here this year, but there is news for next year. As we watch now, the routine practice drill you would put on your table at home or in your club. Formality run out. But I can assure you, he wants to get off to a good start. Lovely player. And uh, John Moore, for me, is playing the greatest pool he's ever played in his life right now. He was on the CV table earlier against Amir Rotter, who put in the performance of his life to get in to the top 32. We are down to the top eight and within two hours from now we will see who is in the semi-finals that's a clever shot did you see that he used reverse side to have the straight line to come yeah perfect to take the eight in the same pocket look at the focus look at the determination perfect a lovely young man I've known him over the years I've never really commentated on his game but I got to see him a few years ago and his brother won the Qatar 9 ball open championships in Qatar a few years ago but now we're in the business end of the top players of the tournament and as for Barber, he's done amazing achievement to be here. I've known Barber for many years here in the Middle East. Lovely gentleman. I have gone out with dinner with him as well. And uh, he was here a few months ago. The AC has been turned down and uh, the table will pick up speed. For all the players around the world and to all the fans, we say thank you for joining us. 
for this event. There's not many people left now in the tournament. And the final will take place tomorrow morning. Where's the white? Knocked on the edge of the door. But that's going to cause a problem, the two ball and the push out. I tend to leave the cue ball for a push out for a jump. Always have done. I've never really let my opponent see the object ball. Thank you very much for showing us where you're going to put the cue ball. Perfect. And I did comment on him in the semi-finals of the cat of the Ramadan Kata Open. Such a lovely young man. I'm very lucky to become friends with him. As we see there, what a beautiful shot that is. Tying up the five ball to go into the corner. So it was a tactical battle already. Who will come out on top of that? I'm not too sure. But we are enjoying this match. And we hope you are as well. And well done to all the camera crew. We did a quick glimpse behind the scenes video. And that was lovely to see the referees and our camera crew. Because we do our best to bring you action. The Kata Open will be here for many years. To come and I can confirm pool players I was the only England player in the tournament I will be back next year and players from Ireland are booked in as well as Wales as well so they've had an invite to come over I don't know exactly, well I was told the names, I don't want to go into too much information, but I was told who's coming, and uh, some of them I do know from the English 8-ball world. It would be nice to meet them. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Did you see that? He made that look like it was over the pocket. He jumped. What a jump. So I've never really commented on his game. But I know one thing. He's an incredible player. But he has missed balls in practice on this table. And I wonder if that's going to affect him. Because the TV table has caught everybody out. The only player who's played supreme on the TV table is John Moore. The Eye of the Tiger player. So that might give him the strength on this table to play well as well here. He's willing the cue ball to get the table speeded up. He was willing to the cue ball to put a break on it. And he doesn't want to overstretch himself. So this eight. Yeah, he's looking at this. As he's trying to keep the seven close to the cue ball. Watch how he does it. Beautiful. 
and already we've seen a glimpse of one of the greatest pool players in the world in tremendous form. And the way he's playing, we're, in treat we're treated to a fantastic game. Beautiful. He's looking at the speed of the cloth. He's just working out how fast it is. Let's go to the arena. come back to the arena in a moment so it's frame number three so you can see making sure everything's correct everything is touching the referees have done a fantastic job Congratulations to them all. And we've thoroughly enjoyed this tournament. It is our last match tomorrow. We're in for another TV episode. Look at the wing ball. Perfect. Not a silver break. Because the two ball... Yes, it can go in the middle, but it's not really open in the four ball as well. And we've had an amazing match this morning. Amir Rotter, who put an incredible performance in. Top 32. But he fell down. We're missing too much. And John Moore running away. So the four to the five, got to be careful. So he's going inside the seven. Watch how he does it. Lovely player. Now this five ball to the middle. If we look at camera four. You can see how tight that is and I don't think it will go in because you're going to have to put pace on the cue ball and that there is going to be a very difficult shot. Let's see how he does it. He's gone for the corner but it hasn't happened. And you know that that middle pocket was too risky. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the game's slipping away to a 3 0 lead. Still a long way to go. It's race to 11. I'll see if I can get some results for you guys. So the eight to the middle. Come down for the... Wow. I've got some news for you. Eight to the middle, run down for the nine. 
and the table's speeding up lovely. I've got some beautiful results for you. John Mora, 2 1 up, and Carlo Bernardo. Joshua Filler is running away. 3 0 up. And there is a diff, Michelle, from the Cata team. They've come in to watch a great game. And a diff played on the TV table yesterday against Ali O'Bailey with a credible performance from Ali. And when I left last night, Ali was at 10-10 with Urban Ocean. But the biggest shock of the tournament was Amir Rotter winning against Coping Me. What a great shot game that was. So as we watch now, the break Two's in the corner, don't worry about that. It's the one ball. And he's mastered the one ball. Taking the one to the right corner. There it is. There's the one. <gasps> Just got kissed by the f seven. But he's opened the door. We haven't seen a silver break just yet. And I'm looking forward to seeing one. Now, where's the key ball? I found it. It's the four. I wish they changed the colours on the balls. The seven, oh sorry, the eight and the four. When you look overhead, if we look at camera four, see, they're so shiny. Okay. It's very difficult to tell sometimes. It has caught me out a few times. I know the rules. I can confirm. I met the person who designed the rules. I can't reveal who it was. But he spent some time with me because we're all on a learning process. Even the players as well. You can play well if you know the rule system, the break system, and understanding it. <coughs> Urban Ocean was 7 4 down yesterday. Where's the white? Now, the reason why that speeded up is because the AC's been turned off and uh, the table's being speeded up. Later on, if it goes on, that will slow down. Now. Just seen another key ball. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you something. The players are on a time scale, and he's and he looked then to the referee. I think I'm not too sure how many seconds you get. Perfect. But the cue ball has ran. It's picking up speed. Now the cue ball is this seven. Did you see what happened there? He pointed where the cue ball should have been. And he's three foot out from where he wanted to be. From where he pointed. So this seven ball is missable. But the way he's played it is beautiful. He's come from behind to take it in. Now. This five to the six. Such a fantastic player. But that cue ball is speeding up. Now, eight to the corner, hold for the nine. And the feeling you get from this is incredible, this nine ball. 
because you're four nil up and all of a sudden you start believing in yourself a long way to go because of the brake system nicely done It won't be too much of an emotional game today. And the reason why these players have performed to their best to get this far. The next rack up, we'll go and have a look at the arena. So, the seven's in, and every time that one ball has gone to the top right corner, I'm looking to see how he's doing it. Fantastic shot. See how, the, ladies and gentlemen, is that the silver break? No, it's because of the four ball. It needed to be a little bit more open because it's stopping the two from going into the middle. We are getting close to a silver break. So he's looking at taking that four ball into the middle. Just to be careful here. The way he's playing is incredible. See how he's playing it into the middle? I asked one of the greatest pool players in the world, why do they point the cue? to where they want to go and has to tell themselves where to go with the cue ball so that was an interesting fact for you it's just reminding them where they got to put the cue ball and the way he's playing is incredible I have noticed one thing he doesn't play with his glove on because he's got the wooden shaft and because of the moisture we've seen it before with the carbon shafts players going in taking the glove off and putting it back on because of the moisture out on the arena When I played on the TV table, I did take my glove off because it was the AC taking effect on the glove. And it was like sticking to the glove. And the cue, as I'm pushing through, needs to go through smoothly. But it wasn't. Because it was a wet, moisture glove, so I couldn't cue properly. So it's interesting to see players wear gloves, not wear gloves, take it off during the game. And it's all down on the air conditions. Some people wear heated vests. John had one on this morning. He asked for the temperature to go down. And then he took it off straight away. And he played supreme. But right now, this young man, all of a sudden, is five down with two breaks so he has to break and run the table two times in a row so the one is perfect
perfect. But it's bounced off that cushion. So everything's speeding up out there. I did ask uh, one of the professional pool players. He asked me about the TV table. I explained to him. And he said, the table should be heated. That will be an interesting fact. They do it in snooker. I wonder if there's... Apparently he was explaining that they do it in some... Uh, that, that he's only ever played in one tournament where they have a heated table. That is the most unforced error in the game so far. Bubba who missed the two ball in the opening game cost him dearly and this one get ball could cost him the frame. But the TV table does two things. You start missing, it puts doubt in your mind and you can't perform. And the AC plays a major part. What a shot. That is beautiful. See, see why he tapped the table? He's in a car going towards the wall and he's trying to put the brakes on. But they're not working. But he's okay. So he's going to aim, obviously, the two to the corner. But he wants to crash into the three and develop it. Beautiful. Oh, dear of him. So it didn't go according to plan. So he's looking at putting the cube behind the five here. It's too risky to cut it in. I've seen players where they... I try to cut in and it's very difficult. But he is going for the cut. Knocked on the door, but it's gone in. We've seen that on the TV table lots of times. When the player knocks the ball on the door, and the door doesn't open. And the frame is lost. But this four ball to pull away to a six frame lead and break in hand as well wasn't that a beautiful shot this is why he's one of the greatest pool players in the world we've been playing for about 20 minutes, yesterday, we were playing for two hours and 45 minutes and we were still on around about five or six frames. And all of a sudden this young man has pulled away to a six frame lead. Well done. Now that I've seen something, ladies and gentlemen, the shaft has been changed. As Barbara tries to take his extension off. Now I know the reason why he did that. Because he's trying to find a good braking system to flow with the queue. And when we start adjusting the queue, we put more weight in the in, 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 in the butt and put an extension on to give it more weight. Got to try new things. 
But during the game, in a match, don't do it. You have to go in with what you have. You should be facing a psychological battle. Why is it all going wrong? And that could spell disaster. You don't believe in your game. We know the eight's gone. Where's the one? So important. But there's a wall. I know he will take a jump shot and jump this. He's, thus, he's such a good player. And I'm very lucky to have him as a friend as well. Coming 13 years of friendship. What a jump shot this is. What a shot. Now. He's looking at the four. He's just pointing to where he wants to be after the two. So the four must go past the six. Nicely done. We don't allow the procedure to go formality shots just yet. It doesn't matter what you've won. It matters what you are doing on the table. So we're not confident. I'm not confident to state what he's going to do. I got to feel and understand his game. And once we get under that procedure of knowing what he can do, I'll be able to call the shots. But right now, always remember, it's not what you've achieved in the pool world. It's what you bring to the table in the match. I've never, ever played the player. When I played FM Reyes, I never played him. I only played what was at the table. And when I almost beat Chung Chung Pong, I was 4-0 up. And I did one thing wrong. I waved to the wife. I'm ready, I'm there. And lost 7-5. And I learnt from that. I lost to Mario He. It's four apiece. He breaks and runs. I did a dry break. He runs. And then he ran out again. And I lost 7-4. So I have played the greatest players on the planet over the years and I was on a three month training program with Team Cata and I did live shows every day so that's a beautiful shot here for the 7-0 for the 9 So it's always nice to watch these players. I did my interview today. And uh, thank you very much to the WPA and Canterbury Federation. And it was lovely. And the interview briefly explains why I do the commentary. is to bring the passion and the emotion to the game. To understand what the players are going through. We're not going to be built up today because you've got two great players and they do it for us. It won't be an emotional roller coaster ride today because those games are special. And always remember, not everybody wants to hear a roller coaster ride. They would like to hear how they're going to get to the ball. What's the key ball? But I'll try and balance it out a little bit for all of you who've joined us. I can do that because I have a, a ranking in the Middle East. I am England's number one pool player and I've become the first European pool player to win many titles. I won the Oman Championships and I'm the first European 
to win every title in Qatar at the club level. So I don't have achieved much over the years. I'm only one of five, probably six people in the country who's won eight ball, nine ball, ten ball club championships in all the clubs. So I thoroughly enjoy playing pool. And to bring you an inside of the game is important. We almost had a, a silver break, but it didn't happen because of the ones tied up. And the five to the left is on the rail. It all has to come in in the open. So I've just given you a little bit of insight that I do play pool. Beautiful shot. How well did he play that? And doing the commentary, I thoroughly enjoy. I really do, because it's giving you an insight of the emotion of the players and how they run the table. Keyboards, misfortune, good fortune. Did you see how he did that? He's taking, thank you very much, he's pointing to where he wants the cue ball. Not only does it for me or you, he does it for himself. Psychologically, he's telling the cue ball where to go. So why is he so good? People are asking. Dedication, motivation, and hundreds of hours of practice. When I was in the tournament, I ran out five racks in a row, and I made one mistake. And when it was hill hill, my opponent got a golden break. And it's all because the zone which this gentleman's in is focus. That's why he's so good. Around him, he blanks everything out. And that's why he's one of the greatest pool players in the world. Where does it go wrong? And the, where it goes wrong it's when the balls go wrong and you're trying to survive at the game. We haven't seen that yet. Nothing's gone wrong for him. Nine ball is a very difficult game to play. I was in Canada training with John Moore and as I went through the pool room there was this bar table. There was about, say about ten of them. It was a very small pool table. I said to John, what's that called? He said, that's the bar table. So pool tables are completely different. When I was in Georgia, I was playing Russian, billy uh, Russian snooker. I couldn't even pot one ball, no along any ball. Well, I played on a pyramid table. They presented me with um, a pyramid pool cue. I thought that was very nice. I do travel the world, not doing commentary. And I got invited to go to China to do the Chinese eight ball tournament now I got news for you are you ready for this the reason why he waved his hand you're eight nil up and the reason why he did that 
He's a perfectionist. He doesn't want to give anything away. He wants to stay in at the table. The tied up balls are the five and the three, but this one ball is crucial. If I was eight nil up, I'd be so happy. I wouldn't worry where the one ball was. But because he's a professional and a perfectionist, he plays the perfection in every frame. He wants everything right. But I learnt something. We're going to watch how he breaks next time and I'm going to tell you what I learnt. And I hope you stay with me. Lovely shot. See how he's opened up the five and the three and the two. Well played. He did that with a fantastic shot. Very tactical safety battle. Thank you. That's where he wants the cue ball. He's coming down through the gap. Is he going to cut it into the corner? What a shot that is. He indicated where he wanted to go. Barbara knows that he can jump this. Now, he's a very good jump shot player. I've seen him do many jump shots. But can he see it? Wow. He can go through the gap. He's left it and the deep breaths. But he's missed it. But it's okay, because he would have been hampered on the two ball. So he had misfortune turned into good fortune. But all of a sudden, this young man has taken deep breaths and he's 8 nil up. And it just goes to show he respects his opponent so much that he doesn't want to miss a ball. So it's a beautiful shot. He knows he's got to come back for the free for the right corner. Needs a nice angle. But look at the presentation. Look at the focus. Beautiful. These shots are so hard to play. He makes it look easy because he's put the hundreds and hundreds of hours in practice in. Now, watch how he gets to the five. See that? He lined it up with his cue. And Stephen Lynn, I hope you're watching. And we all miss you here. I did a nice video for Stephen to say we miss you with the brothers. And that we hope you come next year. There's big news to come as well. Stay tuned for that. But right now, we are watching this young man play to perfection. To take a 9 0 lead very shortly. He hasn't missed much. I don't think he's missed a ball. So the eight to the corner and the nine is for nine frames in a row. And the brake system will favour this young man to perfection. Out of all the players on the TV table, this gentleman is a machine. Let's have, let's have a look at the arena camera. I just want to have a quick look. 
very quick look. Wow. What's happened? Sorry for the camera. It's a bit blurry. Joshua Feller is on the first table. Where's John Moore? John Moore is sitting down. So Carlo is at the table. Dennis is there. Wow. Missed that one. Joshua comes to the cable with Cubo in hand. Let's go back to the action. So where are we on this train? Trying to look for results as well, guys. Let's give you some results. Let's have a quick look. Wow, Joshua Feller has ran away with his match. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I got some news for you, guys. I got some incredible news. Got to stay by us. John Mora. 6-2 up on Carlo Bernal. Joshua Filler. 8-2 up. John Mora. 6-3 now. Beautiful. Well done. This young man... Barba will not give in. He is an incredible player. He's represented his country with honour over the last few days. Incredible player, he really is. Got news for you, Joshua Fellow, 9-2 up. Carlo, Bernardo is pulling it back. Six, three for John Mora. And the first frame goes on the board. It's okay. A long way to go. We've seen comebacks before on the TV table. That's what it's built for. And there is a possible comeback. And why not? Because you've got to take one frame at a time. Ah, there's the brother. There's his brother there. Coping in. In the back there, watching. What a player he is. Try see if I can bring him in for do some commentary with me. I'll ask him. See if we can bring him in. Can't promise anything. Joshua Feller. One frame away from the hill and is this the silver break we are on oh we can't do a silver break i'm afraid because the seven is blocking the six everything has to be perfect but to be fair we've got a silver break unmissable well done and this is a silver break ladies and gentlemen
What happened? Wow. And that unforced error is unbelievable. I was just looking at the results to bring you the air of him. He's tried so hard. Such a shame to see that in off dear of him. He's put in the performance of his life to be here. And you can't give this young man cue ball in hand. So on this occasion, the hill. It's going to be very difficult to come back. I've enjoyed this game. I try to bring the inside of the game to you guys. But when you've got opponents playing like machines, it's very difficult for me to understand how they're playing because it's perfection. Simple as that. And I've thoroughly enjoyed this match. I really have. I have to stay biased, but uh, I was hoping Barbara would come back with a comeback. But because of the breaking system, it's only one mistake and the match is over. But well, it's such a shame because he's done an incredible performance over the tournament. I talked about how he gets the white, uh, the one ball up to the top of the table. I'll give you a bit of knowledge. Watch where the white goes, where he puts the white. Are you ready? Perfect. But look how he aims. See that? He hits the one, I think, full on. Yeah, oh, just slightly to the right. Watch the one ball go to the top of the table. There it goes. Perfect. Is it a silver break? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Because you can't miss that. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed this match. And I hope you guys have as well. It hasn't been too emotional because there wasn't a comeback. We've seen two silver breaks already. And this is number two. So you can't really miss this. It doesn't matter what happens. It's a silver break. Cool, he plays to perfection. I would be happy to be there. It's okay, he's, he's going to take this on perfect to the middle and uh, leave the white there. Like I said, it's a silver break. You can't go wrong. Nobody's missed a silver break so far. But it's been a fantastic match all the way through. We've witnessed perfection as well. Is this the contender for the title? I'm going to have to wait and see. Still a long way to go. They say the hardest frame to win is the last frame. But because of the braking system, he's more comfortable. But the silver break for the first one on the TV table has been missed. You're ten one up. Yes, he stuck the double on. But it was the cue ball to the previous shot on the two to the three for the double. 
Oh, there is his brother. Oh, dear of him. He's missed a free. And that could cost him the match. I was hoping he would win this game. I can put a few more on the board. But it hasn't happened. It hasn't been his day. Remember, he's put in the performance of his life to get to the quarterfinals. And well done to him and to all his friends around the world and family. Your young man has been amazing to get this far. He didn't perform in the quarterfinals, but I know one thing. He'll be back next year. So join me very shortly for the interview. And I would like to say he's put in an incredible performance. Well done to everybody who's tuned in as well to see this match. I've enjoyed it. I really have. It wasn't an emotional game. Because they're not all emotional. Sometimes, when you watch machines play, it's only when they malfunction, we can get the emotional side. Your winner, Tang Kong Pong champion, into the semi finals. Join us shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. Cho Ping Kong, congratulations getting through to the semi finals. How do you feel? Uh, I'm very happy. I'm this game. I'm playing well. Uh, I hope the next game I can do the same. Well, you played amazing. And uh, you, I think you only missed maybe one ball, yeah. but your safety yeah. was amazing as well. But how do you feel now being? one of the top players yeah. in the world. Yeah. You're in the semi-finals. You're on again very shortly. Yeah. Do you feel with your brother's support as well, could yeah. this be your year to win the Qatar Open? Yeah, so um, I think I'm very happy I can into the uh, semi-final. So I'm just focused on the game. Yeah. Well, thank you very, very much. And to all the fans around the world, we say thank you to you. And we're going to be with the semi-finals very shortly. Now, the final is tomorrow morning and from all of Qatar Billiard Federation and the WPA. We say thank you to the worldwide fans. Join us very shortly. Thank you very much.